Welcome back to my journey into playing the double bass or the upright bass, which uh, it's called in the, in the jazz world. Um, last time we talked a little bit about how to play in tune. And now I got my first lesson from a teacher, my old teacher from the Rhythmic Conservatory, by the way, from many years back, Bo Steve, which is a uh, world acclaimed jazz bassist. And he corrected some of my, my, my beginner mistakes and, and positions and all that. First thing he uh, told me was, of course, to get the, the, the end pin in the right height. Uh, to, so now we have taken it down a little so it fits my, uh, my size. I'm 192 centimeters, so I'm, I'm quite tall actually. But I had it too, too high anyway. It should be like the, uh, your four. How this the knob of the base should be approximately between your 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 eyebrows and your hairline. So I have a high hairline, so that's a lot of ground to cover. Um, and the next thing was to be able to stand with the base without holding it with your hands, like ah, uh, like this. Then you don't need to use energy holding the bass when you're playing it. And the key to that was, if I move a little bit back, that you stand with your legs a bit apart and then the, the, the left leg or the left, you hold the bass is kind of kind of a, a little bit in front of the other one, like this, standing like this. And then uh, you put your bass, of course it's, it rests uh, against your, your gut, and the left, this, uh, the kneecap of the left leg is like supporting it and correcting from mistakes, so you can stay like this. Then I can smoke and drink in both hands. I'll do it a lot of other stuff. Uh, so that's really nice. Relaxed, I can just stand and look at what's going on. Oh, okay. So being able to support your base is equally important, as you can see. It's very important also to play relaxed and be relaxed in playing and learning new instruments because you have to teach your muscles to to uh, to cope with the the, uh, the bass. It's like bodybuilding. You don't put on a lot of kilos the first day. You are pumping iron. So it's the same thing. And be relaxed. Um, and of course I shouldn't bend too much, but I should also be relaxed and don't lift my shoulders too much, so it's a relaxed motion. Okay, and the other thing he told me or corrected was actually, see, when we are down in this position, I use my first finger here and the second finger on the A, and then the fourth finger here on the B flat. And my thumb on the back of the neck of the bass should always be out adjacent to the second finger. I had a tendency to move to my thumb was sliding up here, but if you, you, you're supporting your, your fingers much more when you have this pressure directly from the thumb underneath or adjacent to it, it should be like this, the pinch is kind of... To play a tune on the G string for instance, you use the open, open strings to get a to match the, 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 the note you're playing. For instance, if I want to play an, an open, uh, nonsense, if I want to play the A or the G string, I use the open A to check if I'm in tune, or the open D. Go 
we'll come down to the lower notes to C. You see open G here yeah, to find this. And then low G. Also open G. And then open D. Get up, up the up the neck for much later, and he says actually we should all also practice getting up the neck right away. So it's not like something that is it's very hard to to play up here in a, what they call the thumb position, which it is. But we can we can practice this right away. So actually just duplicating all you know in the lower position and just trying out in the higher position. Because we have the, like on the electric bass, we have the, like uh, we have the open string, and then on the 12th fret, it all can, it all repeats itself. The same with the double bass. We just find the we find the, the harmonic that uh, that is the same as the, the 12th fret. We have the open G here, and then I find by using my thumb, find the place here where the open. Check if I'm all right. I press down the thumb. No. Yeah. And of course, it's a matter of getting this this position in, into your into your finger, so you know the distance 